So when you're shopping for a new phone, you might wonder what provider works really best in my county. Reach out to viewers to find out which providers work and don't work in their particular counties. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson joins us with this county by county breakdown. It's hard to know whether your area has good cell phone reception. Downtown, you can probably get any carrier, but further out neighborhoods maybe don't have so much luck. It's good to know which kind of carrier picks up where you live. I put this post out to viewers to find out where cell phones work and where they don't, starting in Duval. Most providers like T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T scored well with viewers, but I did hear a lot of criticisms of Sprint. Moving now to St. John's, Verizon had good reviews, but I did hear a lot of complaints about AT&T. Moving inland to Clay County, most plans did well. However, I did hear some complaints about Sprint, particularly around Middleburg. In Putnam County, I heard good things about Cricket Wireless and AT&T. In Alachua, I got a note about problems with T-Mobile. Way out in Union County, I heard good things about Boost Mobile and Virgin Mobile. To the north... In some more rural areas, we heard good and bad. For instance, in Bryceville, near the Nassau-Baker County line, we heard about problems with AT&T. In southeast Georgia, we did hear some positive things about both AT&T and Verizon. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Coming up in the next hour, we'll talk with an expert from Consumer Reports to discuss the best cell phone options for you and your family.